You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Thank you for tuning in to CNA Heroes. My name is Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Today, I honor the third CNA hero to be recognized at CNA Fest in Little Rock, Arkansas last month. This woman has the grit and determination despite overwhelming obstacles that make her a hero in my book. Lupita Rodriguez was born in Mexico. Her mother died when she was only seven years old. In Mexico, children were not then allowed to go into the clinics and the hospitals, but Lupita did manage to go and see her mother before she died. She remembers the smell of medicine and urine, and when her mother died, she promised herself that she would never visit a hospital again. In 1989, Lupita came to Tucson, Arizona to live with her sister and help her sister care for her children and she was only 12 years old at the time. She went to junior high and she went to high school, but she never felt confident because of her English skills. Lupita met her husband. He was English speaking only, so she learned a lot from him. She graduated from high school with honors, but she couldn't continue her education because of her immigration status. She got married in 1996, had their first of three children in 1998. Lupita's sister-in-law was a CNA, and Lupita asked her many questions about the work. You see, Lupita had tried several jobs when her children were young. None of them seemed meaningful, and none of them worked out. So when Lupita asked her sister-in-law about being a CNA, she wanted to know, is it hard? Do you have to go to school for it? Do they pay well? And what do you do? Lupita's sister-in-law's answers were awesome, and she wanted to do it. In March 2005, Lupita saw an ad in the newspaper for CNA training that just took 12 weeks. She looked at the ad for days. Finally, she told her husband she was going to go check it out. She was terrified, but she went and applied and they called her for an interview. In September of 2005, Lupita finished her CNA training and in November, she passed her state exam. She was a CNA. In December, she started working as a CNA and she hasn't stopped since. She even inspired her husband to go to nursing school and he is now an LPN. Lupita, who became an American citizen 10 years ago, states, all I can say is that I'm from a small ranch in Mexico where there's no electricity, no running water, no fancy houses. She says, so I feel so proud to have accomplished the things that I have never felt possible like learning English and having a job that I love and having a family. Lupita continues, I love this country and I love NACA. Everybody, please today join me in honoring Lupita Rodriguez, CNA hero. <laughs> 